Hi Leo, this is um, a quick reading. This is L here to do a quick reading. Um, it's a love reading. Um, but what I've done is I have divided the um, the messages up into you know different elements. Waters here, earth, air, and fire. So we're going to pull two cards for each element and try to get some messages in regards to Leo dealing with um, each element, okay? All right, so let's get started. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. So thank you to those who ha are returning. Thank you to those who are new. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, share. Ooh. Make sure you're commenting below. That um, automatically enters you to win a free reading. Okay. What are the messages for Leo dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? For Leo dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Two of Swords, Five of Wands. Wow. Um, and dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there is a lot of indecision within uh, within Leo um, in regards to should I stay or should I go? Your emotions are invested. Your heart and your mind tell you two separate things. Some of you might even have some mental issues. And there's nothing to, um, there's no reason to be uh, ashamed of that or be shamed for that. Yeah, there's a lot of inner conflict in dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and and if it's not that, then you you know you move away from uh, that statement because it's not relative to you. But if it is, that's okay. Get the help that you need so that you can find clarity within yourself, so that you are not battling yourself mentally and emotionally. For some of you, it's a home life where there has been opposition, there has been outside forces whatever that may be uh, it's putting you in a place where you gotta make a decision are you in or you out okay My Leo's dealing with air Gemini Libra Aquarius Leo's dealing with air Gemini Libra Gemini, Labor, Aquarius. Okay. Two cards. King of Pentacles. Alright. Looks like whomever you're dealing with. Yeah, Prince of Prince of Cups. Definitely um might be an Aquarius here. Sometimes Aquarius comes up as the Queen Prince of Cups. Um, so this could be your husband, you or you want this to be your husband. This is a good candidate for a husband make solid decisions could be the uh, business owner the businessman or woman um, you're offering your cup to them to invest emotionally but they're looking off into they may be a lot concerned with uh, the pentacle the monetary the business the the everyday you know workings of, of society of life uh, what is tangible assets um, they may be a little cold or a lot cold. I'm here. It's just a hump. You got to get over that hump. They've got to get over the hump. Try to work with them through this, Leo. Uh, some of you want to offer a cup of love to... Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you feel like they're so independent, they're so business minded, they're so, their mind is so much on other things that um, you don't even know if your cup is enough. You don't know if you're enough. Hmm. You're definitely dealing with Aquarius. Um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Where are the messages? Capricorn Virgo Taurus. King of Wands and the Devil. Ooh. 
Leo, if you're dealing with another Capricorn, well, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, it looks like they, it, the situation might be toxic. It might be um, third party. It may be addictions here. Someone may be, there might be drug addiction here or just overindulgence. Someone is bringing someone into the marital bed. I mean, it was okay when it started. It's now become a stumbling block, a hindrance, a problem, an issue. Can we deal with Capricorn? You're trying to stand in your power, and you are. You're being, you know, I think you're going with the flow of things, but um, I'll be interested. I'm interested to see how that, how that ends. See, Capricorn has the ability to operate in that lower nature. You know, what may seem like forever for the outside person. And then they have that innate ability to wake up and just shut it off. And then they do a complete 180. They're a new person. They have a new life. They're about morals and values. And you're like, well, what happened to this other person that was just out there? That is why Capricorn is the sign of the devil. They have dominion over both sides the lower nature and uh, of course they can always turn it for the better watch out Leo you don't have that um, it may take you some time to come back all right king of fire queen of fire Aries Sagittarius Leo ace of wands three of pentacles nice so if you're dealing with another fire sign bottom of the deck page of pentacles that's the overall energy which is beautiful um messages of stability messages of uh of things uh turning out well for you this could even be legal this could even be something that's tangible you're waiting on a message that will bring in stability uh capricorn virgo taurus um, okay uh Dealing with fire sign, another fire sign. Have the motivation to actually make this stable. Three of Pentacles here, getting the recognition that you want with this person, and vice versa. But you guys have to transform this energy from just, you know, sensual or sexual in nature, but transform it into actually building something together. This would be hard for two fire signs. I mean, but I mean, depending on where your where else placement, you know, you have in your chart. Could be third party. I don't know. It could very well just be um, maybe someone. Other people looking at you guys. You might get a lot of recognition when you go out to other people looking at you. Some of you it is third party, but this person is trying to like really build something with you. This is not just a um an affair. This I mean not just a a fling, but this is an affair. Someone really wants to transform the energy. This is how I'm kind of picking up on it. I don't know if the other party is feeling the same way. Alright, so if this resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Request a personal reading. All of my information is below. Follow me on Instago, Instagram. Take advantage of the two question $20 reading. Um, thank you for tuning in once again. Remember to comment below. Uh, remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.